In this video, we will take a look at the slides of axilla. The slide is stained with hematoxine alazine. That means that the nuclei of cells are violet and cytoplasm is pink. The surface of axilla uh, is covered by epidermis. That means uh, stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. So here you can see the basal membrane and many layers stratified squamous cells because the, the last visible nuclei are squamous and keratinized here it's a stratum corneum which consists of dead cells so this is the epidermis The underlining dermis uh, consists of two layers. The first is uh, papillary layer of dermis here, which uh, consists of loose connective tissue with uh, small capillaries for uh, nutrition of uh, epidermis and. Uh, dermal papillae and deeper a layer of dermis called reticular der dermis a reticular layer consists of a dense irregular connective tissue and uh, hypodermis is located external to the reticular dermis it's here and hypodermis consists of uh, adipose tissue this is the, the white uh, places and uh, strips of uh, dense connective tissue it's here so strips of connective tissue uh, with uh, big blood vessels and uh, and nerves so in the mm, reticular layer of dermis and hypodermis you can find all three types of skin glands uh, the first of which uh, is uh, associated with hair follicles it's a uh, sebaceous gland or also called oil gland here the next uh, skin glands it's uh, sweat apocrine glands here it's apocrine sweat glands and last it's a uh, uh, sweat glands which, which is a uh, eccrine eccrine sweat glands so we will take a look closely to the uh, individual skin glands so the first is a sebaceous gland which is so uh, associated with hair follicles here is a hair follicles and here is a, a alveolus or acinus of a sebaceous gland uh, on the periphery of alveolus here it's a small uh, darker cells which is gradually filled uh, by the oil and uh, sebaceous gland is a holocrine type of uh, secretion the cells it's, uh, which is full of uh, oil it's uh, damaged and uh, oil is delivered to the duct and continue to the hair follicle so this is the sebaceous gland uh, the next gland is uh, uh, apocrine sweat glands it's here uh, it's a tubular coiled apocrine sweat glands here uh, the epithelium which lining secretory parts of apocrine gland it's a uh, cuboidal or columnar epithelium in one layer uh, but uh, very often the epithelium uh, it's um, damaged during the histological processing uh, 
there is not visible contact uh, with cells and basal membrane. Here is a basal membrane and here is a uh, cells which is uh, lining uh, the uh, secretory part of uh, apocrine sweat gland and uh, now uh, this is the artifact during the histological uh, processing uh, the epithelium is damaged and cells are in the lumen of the gland not uh, not uh, in uh, the basal membrane so this is the sweat gland tubular coil uh, coil gland uh, sweat glands uh, which is here is also tubular coiled gland but the uh, sweat gland is smaller than apocrine sweat glands the secretory part is uh, lining with the one layer of cuboid cells and here is uh, a visible basal membrane and between the basal membrane and uh, the epithelium is a um, uh, special type of uh, cells you can see uh, their nuclei and uh, the name of these cells are myoepithelial uh, cells and uh, these cells uh, help to uh, move the sec uh, secrete uh, to the duct and uh, on the surface uh, of uh, the epidermis so here is a cuboidal cells which lining the secretory part of uh, sweat glands and here the squamous nuclei uh, of uh, myoepithelial cells between the basal membrane and epithelium um, and the duct of uh, the you know, sweat glands here is lining by two layers of cuboidal cells and uh, the ducts uh, go through the dermis and through the epidermis uh, on the uh, skin surface so this is all for the axilla which is uh, covered by epidermis uh, under the epidermis you can see uh, dermis which is uh, composed of two layers the first is uh, papilla layer, layer this is the loose connective tissue and deeper dermis uh, contains dense uh, collagen tissue and uh, Hypodermis uh, is located external to the reticular der dermis and contains adipose tissue and strip strips of uh, dense collagen tissue. In the dermis and hypodermis, you can find three types of uh, skin glands. Uh, here you can see sebaceous gland and a sweat apocrine gland. Which is uh, which are associated to the hair follicle. The sec secret of uh, both of uh, glands uh, go to the hair follicle, and the last uh, skin gland is sweat glands. And here you can see sweat glands, which is uh, secretion part. Is sweat glands is lining uh, with uh, one layer of cuboidal cells and uh, with the myoepithelial cells Se uh, sweat gland apocrine sweat gland also contains myoepithelial cells so thank you very much for your attention